If you want to make more money reselling shoes doing the same amount of work that you are currently doing, then this video is for you. What's going on, everybody? This is Brendan. I go by Dad Planet on YouTube. I am a full-time reseller, but I currently only work part-time hours on my eBay store, and that's an eBay store that generates an average of $11,000 per month in gross revenue. Reselling has allowed me to work from home and see my young daughters, who are my world, grow up right before my eyes. And in this video, I'm gonna give you an over-the-shoulder view on how I list, how I price, and how I sell pre-owned shoes on the eBay platform. Now, the pace of this video is going to be a lot slower than you are used to seeing from me, but it is packed with strategies that I think sellers often overlook or weren't even previously aware of. And I want those details to sink in to help both newer sellers and even some of the seasoned veterans because this process works for me like a charm. So we're gonna slow it down just a little bit. But I have to warn you, this video is not going to be for everybody, especially if you are a race to the bottom seller who underprices and undercuts everybody on every listing. That takes no skill and quite honestly would defeat the purpose of creating a video centered around helping you make more money while doing the exact same amount of work you're currently doing in your eBay business. And quite honestly, being a lowest price option doesn't always guarantee you the sale when you're selling pre-owned goods, especially when you factor in things like using proper keywords or using excellent images, all of which we are going to touch on here in just a bit. So we are going to list some shoes from start to finish, and these aren't going to be obvious sellers. Some of these shoes will even have some flaws and condition issues, but I'm gonna show you how to get max value out of those shoes using the exact same principles I use to generate $130,000 last year in gross sales on my eBay store on a part-time basis as a one-man show. So remember, the goal here is to make more money doing the same amount of work or maybe even a little bit less than you are currently doing, and this is how you do that selling used shoes. Stay tuned. Okay, so we're gonna start off with a pair of Nikes and I'm gonna put a picture of the tag on the screen here because that tag gives us some really good insights and some good keywords that we always wanna use where we can, where we can find them in our listings. So I have a pair of Nike gray fly knits, they're women's size seven and a half, but when I search, the first thing I'm going to put in is Nike and then the style and colorway code, which is this six digit number, 631050. That's the style code for this Nike shoe. And then the three digit number to the right of that, which looks like it is 002, is the colorway code. And what do we have here? Okay, yes, so this is the pair of shoes that I have in my possession that I wanna list. And the reason I'm using that style and colorway code is because that is a keyword that has buying intent. It's much different than when somebody goes in and searches gray Nike fly nets. That is a buyer that's kind of close to closing a transaction, but the buyer that goes in and searches just like this, Nike with that style and colorway code, that's a buyer that knows exactly what they want. They've had that pair of shoes before previously probably, uh, and they want that exact color, that exact style, that exact size. That buyer is much, much, much closer to making the purchasing decision than a buyer who's just searching Nike gray fly knits, cheap price, or using a keyword like that. So where you can, always have the style and the colorway code in your listings when you list it. But for now, we know that for this exact shoe, and it might not be the exact size, we've got one, two, three, four, we got five current listings. I have a size seven and a half. So really quickly, I'm gonna look to see which one is the seven and a half here. And it looks like there are two of them. Now, the fact that there are two listings here does not mean that you're competing with two other sellers you are only always competing with one other seller, right? You only have to be better than the best one. That's your competition. So if there were 15 results here for a size seven and a half, you think you're competing against 15 other listings. You're not, you're only competing against one and you are only always competing against one. So yours only has to be better than the next closest competition to you. So keep that in mind. It gets overwhelming sometimes when you're like, oh, there's 20 listings, this shoe's never gonna sell. No, you only have to be better than the next best one. Remember that. So I have two here and it looks like one is 47 bucks with free shipping. The other one is 60 with $10. And um, I think this is seven and a half. I think this is seven and a half. So I'm gonna look at the cheapest one first, $47 with 
um, free shipping. And I'm looking at the condition and based on the shoe that I'm holding on to, I can tell right away that my pictures and the condition of the shoes are going to be better. So I've got this person beat no matter what already, at least on those points. So I'm just looking at all of the pictures here, the soles look pretty similar to the ones I have, but um, I can beat this person with my images and I can beat them on condition. So I'm done looking at them. The next one I want to look at is this one here at $59.99. And now I'm slowing this down considerably, but when I'm doing this in person, I fly through it just because I've done it so many times. So for your purposes here, um, we're going to look at the next one. So this one looks like it is in a condition that is closer to mine, very similar on both sides. These pictures are pretty good, but again, I'm going to be able to beat them on images and I will show you why in just a second. So the midsoles look good. They've done a, a picture that I don't normally take, which is take the insoles out. I don't normally um, take that picture. And then the soles, they look pretty similar. So mine is uh, going to be similar to this one. Now, those are the ones listed. Now let's in a seven and a half, let's see which ones have currently sold in the last 90 days because that's the most important thing. Now I know who I'm competing against. Okay, so none have sold in this exact style and colorway in the last 90 days. That's okay. We're going. We're still going to be able to sell these shoes. So even though there's no sales and we have two competing listings, in order for me to make the sale, I'm going to price these relatively aggressively. Um I don't think I can sell them based on the information that I have currently at $59.99, but we're going to go into Terapeak next just to make sure. $47.20, I've got them beat, so I'm not really worried about them at this point, but we're going to take one additional step here and we're going to go into Terapeak. Let's go to selling research, Terapeak product research, and then let's see if this has sold in the last year. So, okay, so this gives us a little bit better data here. So 18 of these exact shoes have sold. I'm gonna sort by um, most recent. So, okay, May 5th, I wonder why this is not showing up. 6310500002, why was that not showing up in the regular search results? That's sort of strange. But this is why you wanna go into Terapeak too, because the search engines don't always spit out the things that uh, they are supposed to spit out. So it's good to be checking this as well. So we can see here, that this was a size, oh, I see why. This is a size nine and a half. This is a size 10, 10, 10. So no seven and a halfs, but it's clear that the shoe has sold. So we just haven't sold any in the last 90 days in a seven and a half. But look at the average prices here. 22, 25, 24, 20. Two, I don't know what 2.99 is or why they sold for that much. That's insane. $50 here. What's the averages? So you got the average, average sold price is 56. That seems extremely high. Let's condition and sort this by used. Maybe that will help us a little bit more. It still says 4208. I think this includes the average shipping of which is $12. So it looks like the average sold price for the shoe is around $30. I think pricing them between 35 and 40 makes a lot of sense based on the information that I have right here. So we're going to go back. Let's put our search back in and then list the pair of shoes that we have. Let's take a look real quick and just sort by solds. And this will give us what we saw on the previous screen. Okay, yeah. So, I mean, if you look at the price ranges here, asking $35 to $40 is going to be a little bit high. Here's a pair here, even with uh, shipping that sold on a best offer. The, the, the more accurate price range, the one that's gonna get you the sale a little bit closer is gonna be around here. So between 30 and $35, it obviously destroys the two competing listings that I have, but we're going to shoot on the high end on this one here for $35. That's where we're going to start. Actually, we'll go back and we'll just copy one of the listings here. Dark gray, pure platinum. Sell one like this. Type in women's running shoes. And um, I'm going to take pure platinum out of there. We're just going to keep dark gray in there and then we're going to put our size. So I've got the style and colorway code in the title. That's important. And then I'm also going to do what I think a lot of sellers skip over. And that's again, put the UPC code in here because that is also a keyword that has buyer intent. Somebody that uses that UPC code and number wants to buy this exact pair of shoes and they're ready to buy it. Where you can, if you've got Nikes, always have the UPC code in here. That will get you much closer to the atypical buyer, the one that you want 
um, purchasing your shoes. So shoes are in, let me just pop this in. Shoes are in very good pre-owned condition. Okay, now the power of editing, we're gonna pop the photographs in. All right, the shoe images are in and I use the same nine photos for every single pair of shoes I take with the exception of when there's a condition issue that needs to be photographed and you will see that here coming up in just a bit. But I use the same styles, the same poses every single time. I'll take you through them. It's uh, one side, the opposite side, I do like a front shot right here. It gives you a very clear view. And I, you can see I've taken these on a day where there's sun, so that lends itself to shadows. This is not the ideal day to take images on. I'm gonna show you in the one of the next listings that we do, a much more appropriate day and time and condition to, with which to shoot your shoes. I'm gonna show you that in just a second. So we have a front view here. There's the back view, interior, another shot of the interior, and then an over the top so you get a glimpse of the insoles, I don't normally pull them out unless I feel like I have to for whatever reason. And then a picture of the soles, as well as a shot of the tag. So you can see there's the style and colorway code on the tag, and then there's the UPC code. Always have those in on your Nike listings. So we got a size seven and a half. Pictures are in, pictures are done. Now you have to check the um, item specifics here. So we're gonna update that to a, it's a free Flyknit 4.0. We gotta update the size. And then you have to check all these over because people put these in incorrectly often and customize, I remove that. I don't like having all that information in there. I think less is more, five, 38 and a half. Okay, so the UK size was five. Make sure that that's correct. Upper material, just take that out. Breathable comfort cushion. Yes, they all are for that shoes. Performance, I don't need that walking. We don't need knit accents in there. Athleisure, we don't need any of this in there. I think this is a waste. Um, character none. Yes, they are lace ups. I don't remember what the release year is, and that does not matter. Um, vintage, no. Again, we don't need less is more. Less is definitely more. So you see me pop these out often. Um, I think it is totally redundant and unnecessary to have all of this in here because nobody cares. Somebody's looking for this exact shoe. They're not sorting by any of this. And I'm not targeting a buyer that's looking for any of this information. So um, all I'm going to do is copy the top here for my description. And because I've got my main keywords in here, I don't really need to put much else. Now, this might seem lazy, like we're just putting the same thing in the title as in the description, but between the UPC code and the style and colorway code, I and the pictures that I've taken in the manner that I've taken them in, I've got all the information that I need, all right? Uh, now it's just a matter of pricing. So we're just gonna pop this in here. Very good pre-owned condition ships out quickly. I don't need really any other information than that. If there was something else to disclose, I would absolutely have that in my description, but I know the person that types in the style and colorway code is gonna find this pair of shoes with that keyword. I don't need anything else. Less is always more in this instance. So we're gonna take best offer off of this here for just a quick second. And then we're gonna settle in on a price of $35 or were we going to do 30? We can start at 35. So I have 50% off sale that always runs. So we've got to price these at, you know, would this be a fair price MSRP brand new at $70? Perfect. Okay. Well, we'll half that with the 50% off sale. I know immediately that this is going to go in a 15 by nine by six USPS box. It's going to weigh two pounds. These actually might ship first class, but I'm moving quickly and I'm trying to get things done in an expeditious manner. So I almost always just pick a 15 by nine by six box or a 12 by 12 by nine USPS priority box and then put two or three pounds. It's almost automatic for every single shoe and you'll see that coming up here. So we're gonna leave that as it is. That's my default to USPS. And then we are going to um, publish the listing. So we're good. That one is done. We'll move on to the next one. The next pair I have is a pair of A6. These are the Gel Cayano 28s. Style number 1012B047. Okay. There are 144 listings. So right away we have tons of competition. Don't let that overwhelm you. These are a women's size 10 and a half. So where we can, we're going to sort by 10 and a half. Let's do that. There are 10 but I do not see any gray, like I have gray and white. So I've got no competition for this exact shoe on a size 10 and a half. We're gonna go back just a quick second and let's sort by the sold. So we've got 144 active under that style and colorway code. 
And there's the pair that I have right there. It looks like they just sold brand new without box for $70. So that's another one here. These, yep, that has the little purple accent. These sold pre-owned, $58.99 pair that looks like it's sold here for 50 same color so this is a good a good style shoe here pre-owned 49 dollars so if because i offer shipping the shipping's gonna be around 10 dollars. i think 40 bucks might be the most appropriate landing spot for these shoes here's another one that sold on a best offer another one 55 this is a 40 dollars shoe it looks pretty consistently i don't really need to see anything else okay because i'm going to target the style the colorway the style code and the color, although I don't know what the exact color is called on this shoe. What are they calling it here? They're just saying gray. Okay, so I'm going to do exactly like this one is and sell similar. So we, I know now there were 144 active listings for 1012B047, Gel Cayano 28s, and 112 is sold. It's almost a one to one list to sell ratio. I have a good seller. That hasn't narrowed it down, but just based on what I'm currently seeing here, the gray size is a pretty desirable size um, for resale. So let me see if we can sort this. We'll go to see all if this wants to pop up for me. Seven, ten and a halfs have sold. Looks like the nine and the nine and a halfs is a pretty good seller too. Um, we can look at all this, all the ten and a half. So yeah, this exact one. Pre, here's the pre-owned one that you saw in the previous video that I had. $99. Can I get $99 for that? I don't really think so. This sold brand new for $70. I think $40 is a pretty appropriate landing spot for this shoes. So let's sell similar and see if it has all of the information in it that we need. A6, I'm going to take women's out here. I want Gel Cayano 48 in there first. I'm going to cut this out. Cut. Okay. Now we've got it. Gray. We're going to put in women's after that running shoes. We don't need sneakers in here. We put the style in there next and then size 10 and a half. This is how I like to structure it. I've got the keywords in here that I need. And again, I'm targeting this keyword along with the color gray. So I don't know if that's the actual manufacturer in color. Like they, sometimes they name them differently, but we're going to go with it here and make it pretty simple. UPC. I don't think you get it inside this shoe you do not so we're going to keep it as does not apply pre-owned and these are in very good pre-owned condition so shoes are in very good pre-owned condition okay shoe images are in now you'll notice it's overcast that is the perfect condition under which to photograph your shoes if you're asking my opinion so an overcast day outdoors i'm on the east coast so eastern standard time like between 11 and 2 on a very overcast day those are ideal conditions under which to photograph your shoes so um, you can see here we'll take you through all of them again it's the same nine there's no condition issues with this pair of shoes as well so we're doing the front we're doing the back we're doing the two interior shots i'm going to give you an over the top view so you can see some of the insoles and then the uh regular soles and then the tag perfect you got everything in there that you need you don't have to do anything else so a6 the model is gel cayano 28 yeah well product line sure we can add that in there and then you just got to check again if you're doing sell similar to make sure that everything adds up so we're going to go back to that tag and it looks like they were a 10 and a half and the euro size is 42.5 i don't know what the uk size is so we're going to take that out customize no synthetic no again remove all this stuff breathable comfort sure because they're mesh on the um exterior so running and jogging we can leave that in there yes it's got the logo the shoe width on these i don't think that gives you i don't i don't have anything on my tag so we're gonna go with standard and then it was what was it 42.5 yeah 42.5 for the euro size yes they are lace up and then the rest of this stuff is just um a bunch of waste of time so let's get all of that out of there mention no solid we don't need any of that in there lace up okay perfect now we're good and we're just going to copy what we have in the title and in there and then we we're going to price these at forty dollars we're going to use a 15 by 9 by 6 box and then boom so you can see now it 
becomes sort of second nature after you do your research. Inputting the information takes, you know, seconds. So even though I edited putting in the pictures, that takes a little bit of time. The research was the quickest part of this one. I saw a couple of the gray styles. I, I just based on seeing the search results for the solds, the gray was a good seller. I have a great size at 10 and a half. Got all the information I need to make an informed decision. It looked like the shoe was selling, you know, around $55 with free shipping. So if mine costs 10 to 15 to ship, listing it at 40 is fair. We are done. Move on to the next one. So I hope you guys are enjoying my process of listing and selling shoes so far. But before we continue, I wanted to break it up a little bit and actually show you how I cleaned a pair of shoes recently. Now, I put an employee to work who was absolutely free and did a phenomenal job. Actually, there are two of them if you count the washer. You'll see in a minute. But I had a pair of Solomons that were totally destroyed uh, and I got them fairly clean. And it's a pretty desirable shoe. So let's take a look at how I clean them. When you have a pair of trail shoes that is built to stand up to harsh weather, weather conditions, put mother nature to use. So this is employee number one. As you can see, I'm just sitting these outside and letting the rain do the work. The next step I take, I put them in a pillowcase. I use a little bit of Dawn dish soap and I drop them into the washer, put them on a light cycle. Usually I have a couple more pairs, but run that thing and let it go. This is probably the best opportunity you're going to have throughout the day to grab a snack, help yourself out while the wash cycle goes maybe hang out with the kids if they're running around and then go ahead and pull them out of the washer. And when you do pull them out of the washer, which was employee number two, by the way, they come out looking like this. Now you'll notice I haven't even touched these yet. All I did was set them outside in the rain and then I put them in the washer and they are already almost in photographable condition. That is amazing. The last thing that I'm gonna do on this pair of shoes is give them a light rub down on the midsoles just to wipe away any of the existing dirt that did not come out in the wash. And these shoes went from shoes that probably should have been tossed in the trash to shoes that came out looking like they were almost brand new. Amazing. All right, this next pair I've never sold before, La Sportiva. And these are the Bushido 2, and they are women's. Let's see what we get here. So there are 36 results for this exact style of shoe, just based on the information that I've put in. So I see the red is the style that I have. Mine actually looks a little bit more maroon in hand with orange on the bottom. So that might not be an exact comparable, but it is the only one that I see in these search results in that color. Mine is right here. So let's out of curiosity. Let's just quickly check and see what they are selling for in the, is that what they're calling this? Um, moon pepper, canal, carbon. Okay, they're sold out of that size, which is like beet, it might be beet and garnet. Anyway, um, okay, there it is right there. Um, that says slate and aqua, that's definitely not aqua, but I don't see my color here being represented. So 36, but you want a more accurate description. Sometimes you have to look down here. There's 108 of these listed that are new, only 38 used. So again, sometimes the results that you get, they're much, much different down here on the side than they are up above. It just, eBay is just quirky and wonky like that. There's no real explanation for it. Um, but 36, if you're looking up here and then 35 have sold in the last 90 days, what does it say down here? 21 and 18. So that almost adds up. 18 used, 21 new. I like what I have. They sell obviously for a very high price, brand new. I'm sure that was even less than the MSRP if you were ordering it from their website, but I digress. I still do not see the color that I have. So I'm kind of calling my own shot on this one. This shoe does have a condition issue. I'll show you once we get to the pictures, but I'm gonna have to just glance over all of them. Pre-owned 60, pre-owned 30 with free shipping. This was a best offer. 60 here again, 70 here, but this was brand new. Let's just sort by, let's sort by pre-owned. We get the new ones out of the way. Give us a more accurate depiction. 55 with free shipping. So that's like a 40, $45 shoe. If you charge shipping here again with the 45, here's one with 35 best offer. Let's call that 35. So this is just based on what I'm looking at here for this style in a women's $35 looks like the wheelhouse price. Um, if I offer, if, if the buyer pays shipping. So I think that's probably where I'm going to settle in on these ones before we discuss the condition issue. So we're just going to pick a listing here. 
And actually, before we do that, let's see if I can get the exact colorway. I'm not going to spend a whole lot of time on this because we're just going to call them like red, maroon, and orange if we can't get the manufacturer's color. And I don't see it off the top of my head. So we're going to sell similar. And then again, we're going to have to check the item specifics because this is a different color. We're going to take this out. La Bushido women's trail running hiking shoes. We can leave all of that in there if we have space for the rest of it. I like to keep things accurate where I can. Whoops. And uh, it's out of here. So red, orange. That's good enough for me. And then size, these were a size, what size were they? Seven and a half, I think. Yeah, seven and a half. Okay. Copy. UPC, I don't have it. So I'm gonna have to forego it in this instance and that is okay. The style on this one is 2060-C, so we'll have to remember that. Um, Pre-owned small tear on the inside right up, inside left upper. Okay, so I'll we'll pop the pictures in and I'll show you what I'm talking about here. Okay, the pictures are in, but you can see, you know, I had to put that, that there was a small tear in there. I'm gonna take you through that as well. Same pictures, overcast day. Let's go through a few of them here, just so that you can see very, very clear. I like the fact that there was a flower in the background. I think that sort of enhances the, just the niceness of the picture here. Um, okay, so, Here's one of my interior pictures, but then I'm highlighting the flaw here. If you're asking me, this does affect the value of the shoe. So even though the soles are in great condition and the insoles are excellent, this is going to bring the price down. So where this was a $35 shoe, now I think I have to probably price it in the $30 range and let it sit there. So it's in fine condition otherwise, and I'll notate that, but you got to disclose any and all flaws that you see on a pair of shoe that you think will affect the value or have an effect on the buyer. So you gotta let them know that it won't hurt. It, the shoe will eventually sell even with that flaw. So we're, we're okay. This is a very nice picture of the insoles. The insoles look great. So we're pretty good. And then here is what the tag looks like after the uh, soles. So I wanna put 2060-C in there somewhere. This is the indication that they are women's and we are good to go here. So shoe size seven and a half, color red, perfect, sneaker, women's, athletic, everything is good here so far. Did we have a UK size on the tag? I gotta go back. Uh, six and then 39, yes. So we're gonna put that in there as well. So there's six and 2060-C for a style code. I want that in there as well because that's a keyword again that we are going to be targeting and Bushido, but we need to put two on the model. Um, hiking shoe width I think is standard so we can go ahead and put that in there and I've already forgotten what the number was for euro 39 okay 39 and we don't need any other information other than what we've got here small tear on the inside of the left shoe I'm just reiterating what I put up in the condition description I want to highlight the fact that the soles are excellent, as are the insoles. Um, Ships out quickly, and we are good. So where this shoe was a $35 shoe, we're gonna price them at 30 bucks, which would be $60 and then 50% off that. And then this is going in a 15 by nine by six USPS priority box. It's going to be two pounds. We are done with this shoe. So condition matters. Um, in some instances, yes, it will affect the value of the shoe. I think in this instance it does. In other instances it might not, but I like landing this shoe at $30 even with that small flaw because again, the insoles and the soles are excellent. So I think the pros highly outweigh the cons and $30 would be fair for this pair of shoes. Next pair of shoes I have is a pair of Asics Triathlon shoes. They are Gel Nusa Tri 9s, but we are going to put in the style code first, 458N, and see how many we've got coming up here. Oops, we gotta go back a little bit. Copy, let's go out and back ourselves in. Okay, so for that style and colorway code, we've got 
well, it might just be the style code, 253 results. This one is going to be a little bit harder to sort because there's lots of variations of like this multicolor tri nine shoe. And so I've got one that's like a little bit more orange and a little bit more yellow where you see some blues and some of the other ones here. So this one's going to be a little bit harder to sort, but it's still a shoe that's in excellent condition. It's a size nine. So it's kind of a wheelhouse size for this type of triathlon shoe, but we're going to go with what we've got here. So I could sort this by size nine. And because we have so many uh, active listings, that's what we're going to do. So size nine is what we're going to do next. I need to spell the word correctly even though it may have done that for me. Okay, so it's saying that there's 209 results for a size nine. You really have to just sort it this way so that you've got it correct. 33, what does it say down in the search results here? So 38, 33, we're actually pretty close here, which is nice. I'm looking to see if I've got the exact shoe here. This uh, might be it. This is definitely it here. So we've got a few listed... This is a size six though. Here's a size nine listed for 35, another size nine, same style for 23. So prices are going to be kind of all over the place. Pre-owned 35. And again, we're, we're going to check the solds because the sold is, is uh, where the actual data that we're going to use to make our decision lies, but it's nice to see who you're competing against beforehand. So these ones are a little bit faded. This might be a different style, but 39 here, I saw a low of 22. Now let's sort by the solds and see what we've got here. So 33, 20 solds. Does it say 20 solds down here? Yes. Okay, let's just get rid of the two that were sold as new. And the most recent pair sold for 30 right there. So this could be a good indication of a price that we can expect. There's 35 with, um, actually that's a slightly different color that looks more purple. And I don't see any other ones here. You can see the like multicolored option selling in the $30 range. It's still a pretty nice shoe. There's a 40 with free shipping here. This one sold low at 20, low here at 22. This one was sold for 30. So, and they say that they were in mint condition. We'll take a closer look at it. To judge, they look pretty good there. Came with an extra pair of laces, which is really nice. Those shoes are not in mint condition. In fact, they look very, very similar to the pair that I'm holding on to, especially the soles. So 30 bucks is where we're going to land for this pair of shoes. Let's sell similar. And I don't like using all caps in my listings. So let's cut out ASICS gel NUSA, El NUSA Tri-9, Tri-9 women's running shoes multi color orange i'm also going to put in there and then we're going to put size nine along with the style number which was t458n I've got everything in here that i need i like my title upc does not apply we can probably keep that in there pre-owned in very good pre-owned condition and i'm going to highlight the insoles. Excellent insoles. Okay, let's pop the pictures in next. All right, pictures in. Here's a, here's a look at them. These actually look better than the competing listing that was sold for thirty dollars on a bid. So we might might be able to push for thirty five. And you know, just just thinking out loud, that's that might be what I do. I might end up pricing these at thirty five because I think they came out looking really nice. And again, excellent insoles. They are excellent insoles, as you can see, and plenty of tread left and these shoes were pretty lightly worn I and mean, even the tag on the inside looks pretty clean so we're going to change my mind here and i'm going to shoot high and again this is how you make more money doing the exact same amount of work right based on the photos that i've taken the actual condition of the shoes and then the competing listing that sold for 30 dollars, i think i can do better than that so that's what i'm going to try to do i'm going to list mine for 35 because i think the shoes are worth 35 dollars. these are probably like 150 plus when they were brand new so 35 in this condition uh still a steal um, okay, let's go theme. We can put theme colorful in there. A6 gel news to try nine. Sure, why not? Let's go for it. Everything else looks good. Multicolor looks good to me. And what was the um, Euro is 45. Neon, we can keep neon in there because there are some neon colors in there. Uh, the shoe width is standard. And 40.5 was the Euro size. Lace up. And I think we've got everything that we need. I don't, I'm not going to put anything else. Again, less is always more here. Let's copy that. Shoes are in very good pre-owned 
condition with thick soles. Let's highlight that attribute and excellent insoles ships out quickly. Okay, so we're good here. And then $35 is a wheelhouse price. Again, it's going in a 15 by nine by six, two pounds. I don't even have to think about it. Done. So this is a perfect example of, I've got a really nice pair of shoes here. I think I can do better than the most recent sold. So I'm going to ask for more and it's just a matter of time before I get it. That's how you make more money doing the exact same amount of work. Let's get to the next shoe. Okay, the next pair of shoes I have is a pair of Brooks Glycerin 12s. And when I was doing my comps on these previously, I did not see any sold comps in this colorway. So maybe our search today will turn up something different, but let's go ahead and put in uh, the first terms here that we need. Glycerin, is that how you Glycerin 12 men's. And then what size do I have here? I have a size 10. How many do we currently have for just a glycerin 12? And in, in the search engine might flip flop these. We might see some size 12s and glycerin 10s for a style. It doesn't, it's not perfect. Cassini search engine is not a perfect search engine. So it might mix and match some of these. And even the first one here is not a um, sponsored listing and it's given us a glycerin 18. So this, you know, it's definitely not perfect, but 25 here, we're going to do the best that we can. Again, it's just, this is so jumbled. It's going to be hard. Maybe I should take out the, out the size Brooks glycerin 12 and we'll just keep men's in there. See if we can get a more accurate result. 417. That's a ton. Um, but let's sort by solds. 187. So, you know, not a huge seller, but again, here's a glycerin 12, but then we have 17 and 19. So I wonder if we can parentheses in the search and let's see if it gives us some better results. Brooks glycerin 12. Okay, good. Um, little hack right there. If you want the exact style, you can put parentheses in there and it will give you the exact keyword in the exact word order that you typed it in as. So that's an exact term search and that's like outside the scope of our um, video here, but that's just a keyword hack. If you really want to find glycerin 12s, like this is how you search for them. So now we have a little bit more accurate of a look here. We've got 57 results and what is it telling us down here? And these, these are the solds. So 53, 55, 57. Perfect. Okay. Let me see how many are actively listed. 160. So 160 to 57. That's not great, but this is where I saw this color way in some of these um, active listings. So we've got one here. What size are these? These are a size nine and a half listed for 65 free shipping. And I thought there were a couple of more. So I'm going to keep scrolling until we find them because it is important to know for this exact colorway, what else we might be competing against, even though nine and a half is not competition. Here's an exact comp. No, 10 and a half. I have tens. Never mind. Um, these are listed for 85. So um, we don't really have much to go on right now. Let's go back to the solds 57 and see if we can spot this ombre style. You can see an ombre style that's sold right here. It's a women's. I have the men's. These are pink and orange for 29. Just food for thought. Not an exact comp, obviously. But um, I don't think we saw any. Here's another one of the ombre style, but that is also the woman's that sold for 25. Um, so when you've got a situation like this where you don't have any really solid data to go on, sometimes you have to take your best guess. So at this rate, all I'm going to do is just kind of scan where the solds are landing for glycerin 12s. I'm not even going to worry about the size just to give myself an idea of where I think this shoe is going to land. And again, this one also does have a little bit of a rub mark. So it's got a condition issue and that may or may not have an effect on the value. We will take, we will see as I, as I move along here, but um, pre-owned 35, another one pre-owned 35. This is probably around 35, 40. This one was best offer with free shipping. That's a little bit low. 40, 10 is low, 23, brand new for 180, which is a crazy price. Can I sort, get those out of there? Um, 48, 28, 28, 35. I, I like the $35 price tag for these, and especially before we talk about the issue, the condition issue. Just going on the data that I have in front of me, knowing that there are no solds for this ombre style with the orange and blue, I'm going to sit at 35 bucks. So we're going to start there and let's use this one. I think this is women's, so I have to pay attention to that. 
We're going to sell similar and we have to change a lot of the item specifics. Brooks Glycerin 12 men's running shoes, uh, orange, blue ombre style. And these are a size 10.5. Now I don't have, unfortunately, in Brooks on their tags up above at the top, there is a style and colorway code number that you can use. Unfortunately, mine is like completely wiped away, so I can't see it. I can, however, see the UPC. So we're going to make sure that that is put in there. So we're going to remove does not reply, and we're going to put the UPC code 762-052-717-052. Okay, I want that in there. And I keep saying 10 and a half. I have a size 10. So let's fix that. Copy that. And then this one has a small rub mark on the right on the right upper C image. It's a very small mark. You will see them here in just a second. Okay, pictures are in. We'll load them for you. Again, same every time, but I'm going to show you that rub mark here in just a second. These went through the wash, so they're washed up pretty nicely. There's a little rub mark right here, and so I've highlighted that in my next picture. It's small, but it exists. In this instance, because the style on the colorway is so unique, and I think the price is aggressive at $35, I'm going to leave it at $35. Whereas in the Las Sportivas, I changed it a little bit because it looked a little bit more pronounced, and that's a shoe that I'm not 100% familiar with since I'm new listing it. I'm going to keep these because I'm much more familiar selling Brooks in general and especially glycerins that I don't think that that small rub mark has an effect. So picture of the insoles, the insoles look great. The soles look like they're in good condition with plenty of tread left. And then there's a picture of the tag. You can see the style code is um, uh, washed away there. We have a medium, a men's medium in D and then it is a size 10 in USA. And so it looks like we have an eight and a 44 here. I'm just cataloging that in my brain. So we're gonna change this to a 10. And what's the dominating color? I wanna put in orange rather than blue because um, I just have better luck putting orange in there and selling orange shoes. So customize, these were an eight. Um, outdoor running sports, again, I don't need any of this here. Lightweight performance. I don't like having all, any of this in here in this one. Sure, they're breathable. Brooks Glycerin 10. All of this stuff, again, you can either leave it or not. I don't think any of it is necessary other than maybe the running character. Blue is obviously incorrect. Lace-ups, what, what was the Euro tag? I forget already. 44? Yeah, 44. Um, so let's put that in there. <clears throat> Vintage, no, don't need it. Don't need that. Don't need that. And yes, we have to change it from women's to men's. So let's fix that. But we should be good. Size 10, all the images taken, nothing else changed here. Department women, no, it's not, it's men's, and it is size 10. We kept orange in there, nothing else changed, right? Shoe with standard, let's put, let's be specific and put D because some people might be looking for that specifically, and then we're gonna have to remove that again. The Euro size was 44, so some of this did change on me, guys, gals, guys, gals. Um, the UK size was eight. So that stayed the same and we should be good to go. Lace up, good, okay. Brooks is a small rub mark, C image. Excellent in soles and thick soles. Ships out quickly and we are done. We're gonna list these at 35. And they are going to go in the same box size, the same weight every single time. And that pair of shoes is done as well. All right, so I gave you a little bit of a glimpse on how I like to list shoes. I like to be the highest price, maybe 50% of the time, 25% of the time, I'm gonna be kind of right in the middle and then 25%, I'll be aggressive. You know, condition does matter on some instances. It won't matter in other instances. And uh, 
yeah, that's all I have for you. I hope you enjoyed all of that. Brendan here, Dad Planet. Just a little bit of housekeeping as always. Hit the like button if you liked what you saw or you learned something today. And then always consider becoming a member of the Dad Planet family by subscribing and hitting the bell notification so that you know every single time I upload a video to YouTube. And if you want to see more content like that in the future where it's a little bit more educational than it is entertaining, I'm happy to put that out for you. So thank you so much for tuning in. I am signing off and we will see you in the next video.